So I'm about to unbottle a bottle of Pikes Creek 10 year old Canadian whiskey. Um, I've genuinely never had it before, I've never even seen it. And uh, one of my customers, one of my new customers actually, uh, stopped it. So, um, I mean, I think the bottle's gorgeous. I love the, I love the etched effect on the glass. It's not etched, but um, it's the effect. Um, and it's finished in rum casks. Now, my single malt whiskey is finished in my rum casks and I'm not strong enough to lift that out because I'm a complete wimp. So, put that between my legs. Cheap, so I'm trying to be one-handed. Now, whenever I drink any whiskey, and it's very subjective, um, I generally have just one piece of ice. So in here, I'm gonna put So this is it neat. I really should try it neat before I try anything. Oh, it's very smooth. It's no burn whatsoever. It's really important. I don't know how to describe it. It tastes like a bourbon to be, it's a Canadian whiskey. You can't call it bourbon, it has to be made in America. Um, but it tastes very, very much like, a slightly lighter buffalo trace, which means nothing. If you've not had buffalo trace, it's like saying the green ball is behind the black for those watching in color. Um, this used to happen in the seventies when I was a kid on when you watch snooker on a black and white TV. Um, but this really is good. This is it's lots of flavour, but it's very light because the, I mean, it's forty-two percent. So you know, there's a, a decent amount of alcohol in there, but it's very light. There's no burn, and I'm not quite sure how they've achieved that um, because generally there's a very gentle burn or a gentle warming, if you would say that. But there's nothing with it. <laughs> Well, I've had like a double measure there. Um, so I will try, I've got some ice in there to put in there. I only, only, I only ever have a tiny piece of ice. Uh, and this is gonna be my evening's reading. I've just bought um, Jonathan Southcott's uh, German Street, the German Street shirt. And it's a history of German Street. From a shirt perspective, I think there's a, a ton of books written about the tailors, but this is purely um, about the shirt industry that was born and bred in and around German Street. And um, I'll be making a video later this year. I'm going to see Richard Anderson on Savile Row, who's like the best tailor in the whole world. And I've treated myself to a bespoke and I'm gonna make a little video about that. Um, and it's not about me and it's not really about the suits, really about Richard Anderson because his heritage is phenomenal. I won't bore you with it here, but I will put that into uh, that information in the video. So I'd like to share that. And then I've got some evil, Santa, some bad Santa Clauses here left over uh, from um, <laughs> Christmas. Um, but I'm looking forward to uh, my Pikes Creek and looking at Jonathan's book.